Your general impression following today's conference game? Um, I, I think that Harris Stowe is a very, very good team, and I told our ladies that that was what it was going to be in terms of uh, you know the, the issues that we were going to have with them. Um, Harris Stowe is another team, just like a lot of the best teams in our conferences, they'll make you pay for mistakes, and uh, I think we made a few mistakes today that were not usual to make. Um, but overall, I think the effort was there. Um, energy came up in the right way. Uh, we just got to get back under the ball and, and getting um, control of the possession of the game and, and the pace of the play. Harristow State, the top team in the conference in the standings. Your team was a little shorthanded today, but you were able to hang in there and and have a and have some threats, have some moments, both offensively and defensively. What stood out to you? Uh, yeah, I think the heart for our ladies is the biggest thing. Um, we have a lot of players that can come off the bench and do a lot of really good things. Um, obviously, being down three and four starters is never easy for anybody. But uh, to see that kind of combat in the in the play, um, you know, for for the ladies that have been earning more time throughout the year um, and and pushing the issue for you know our starters is is great to see. Um, you know, like I said, hats off to Harris Stowe for the way that they play. They're a good physical team. They move well off the ball, um, and they made us have to adapt. And um, when you do that to a team like us, um, you know, it, it can show some things that we need to work on and so forth. And I wish, um, you know, Harris Stowe all the luck in the world. Um, but I think our ladies showed today, and we see that we can play with anybody. Um, it's just a matter of limiting our mistakes and, and doing some things that dictate the play rather than have it brought to us. Unfortunately, not the result that you wanted in today's match. But the two other teams you're tied with currently in the AMC standings also suffered losses. That has to give your team a little bit of breathing room as each team has five games remaining in the regular season in league play. Yeah, I, I hadn't checked scores yet, but to hear um, that you know a couple of teams that we're tied with right now for that kind of seventh and eighth spot um, in the conference standings um, going down gives us a little bit of confidence going forward in terms of those things. Um, obviously, I think our this year our conference has shown that anybody can play with anybody on any given day. So, um, you know, knowing that, I guess it gives me a little bit of uh, relief um, in that regard to you know not have the effort that we wanted to today. Um, I've told our girls ever since um, you know the game against Williams Baptist the other day, one that I was hoping and thought we should win. Um, you know, every game from now on out is a result-driven game. Uh, we need ties and wins as much as possible. Um, so limiting, like I said, our mistakes on that one um, is going to be big. Um, I know coming up against Lyon and Central Baptist, those being the two teams we're tied with, um, it's, it's going to be a big deal, you know, for us to come out and give strong efforts against them. Unfortunately, we have both of those teams at home, and, uh, you know, I'm hoping for the results to carry the rest of the way. And um, I don't think that we're done yet. I think we can surprise a couple of teams that are sitting top of the table right now healthy here in the next week and uh, it's going to be a big deal once we're at full strength again. Finally, your team hits the road for its next match in conference play. What will this team have to focus on in order to regroup from today's game? Uh, really just possession play. Um, we, we haven't been coming to the ball and receiving passes as well as we should have been, and that was a point of emphasis in our post-game meeting. Um, you know, I think we're game planning very well for all these teams that are coming up. We've been watching a lot of film and getting the idea of what they like to do, and I think that's made us a lot more successful defensively. Um, but really kind of pushing the issue offensively and controlling the pace of the game is a um, is a must-have for all the games really coming up, and I know that you know between Park, Mobap, and Columbia College, um, you know we've got some games where if we're dictating the pace, it'll definitely keep us competitive, and so that'll be a point of emphasis going forward.